Good afternoon. Travel by Water here. Today we're going to take a quick look on how to keep your stuff dry on a small boat. Okay, so as you can see, we failed to keep the water out of the boat on that uh, run. Let's see if we did any better on the second trip. Okay, so as you can see from that uh, short clip, that uh, when you're on a small boat, your stuff can get uh, your stuff can get wet. Uh, your camping gear can get wet. Your 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 electronics can get wet. So you got to find a way to keep all that stuff dry. Now the way that I go about keeping my stuff dry is I use a variety of different dry bags. So today we're going to take a look at some of the dry bags that I have in my boating arsenal. Okay, so uh, dry bags uh, vary uh, considerably uh, in quality, size, and how dry they'll keep your stuff. Uh, the first item we're going to look at isn't really a dry bag, it's more of a damp bag. So this is a carry bag that you could put other dry bags inside because it, it's not waterproof. Uh, it'll, it'll take a splashing, but, uh, but, it, but it's, not, it's not waterproof because it doesn't have a waterproof zipper on it. So we'll take a look at that. That's this bag here. As you can see, it's just a standard zipper. Okay, uh, so it'll take splashes from the top, splashes from the side, but if this bag goes in the water, it's filling up with water and the contents are getting soaked. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so just quickly, the contents. We have a waterproof chart bag. We have uh, wallet style waterproof bags two of those and then we have five liter uh, waterproof bags these are my current go-to and I'll explain why that is in a minute okay so damp bag so uh, let's get rid of that Uh, video clip you saw that uh, the boat my, my boat is, is small that's a 16 foot beach cat and uh, so that leads into why I use such small uh, waterproof bags five liter bags as opposed as opposed to uh, bigger 10 20 and 30 liter bags is these will fit through the uh, hatches on a beach cat so they can be stored inside the hull so they're not loose on deck and, and that's the reason that we go with such small bags is because we can fit them inside the hulls uh, of the beach cat. Okay. Okay. So these uh, five liter bags, they're uh, tested, proven technology. I've been using them for um, like 20 years type of thing. They're simple. They just uh, fast act fastener at the top release and they unroll. Um, and, and, and it's just the rolling that keeps everything inside dry. Now, um, you might think, well, that's, that's, that's a pretty small bag. You can't get all your camping, you can't get a lot of camping gear in there. When in fact, I've got uh, like a full set of camp clothes in here. Let's actually take a look at what's in here. Okay. So, Helly Hansen, uh, long underwear shirt, swim trunks, pants, uh, hoodie quick dry hoodie, 
a pair of boxer shorts, uh, merino wool, another pair of merino wool boxer shorts, and two pairs of socks, all in that tiny little bag there. Okay, so I went ahead and I stuffed all that stuff back inside to a quick look, quick look at resealing. Okay, roll it up, split the air out, and then buckle over the top. Okay, second identical draw, uh, dry bag, so we'll take a quick look at uh, what sort of things uh, can fit in here. Um, okay, sun hat, uh, bandana, spare camera, spare GPS, um, oh, and a zero rated down sleeping bag okay so that's quite a bit of stuff in that little five liter bag especially with that full-sized uh zero rated down sleeping bag down mummy bag okay so that came out of that Okay, so on that last clip, you saw that, uh, you know, we were getting up, uh, getting away from the uh, beach, um, and as we accelerated out into the uh, water, uh, the deck and the trampoline became a wash. So one issue there is how do you navigate, right? How do you have your paper charts out? Well, this is the type of tool you use uh, to keep your uh, paper charts dry. Uh, it's waterproof, it's uh, see-through, and it's got tie-down points. You can actually tie this right down. Uh, to your trampoline so uh, this one I've got charts uh, all the way from uh, Tampa uh, down to uh, pretty well Flamingo in there and uh, okay so that's one side then you flip it over and you can see I've got chart open uh, what's this this is uh, Sarasota Bay is open so you can have the chart open in front of you while you're sailing along you can even have the uh, bag tied down to the trampoline so you don't have to hold on to it and uh, so you can use your charts while you're sailing. Well, at this point, I've decided to turn around <coughs> and head for home. Uh, the <coughs> conditions are just too dangerous for recreational boating in an eight foot boat. <coughs> There's gonna be some wind noise here in a minute, but I can turn the camera around so you can see the kind of conditions that I'm motoring into. Okay, so um, that, uh, that last video, what it demonstrates is sometimes uh, you're out in a boat just for a, a day trip, so you're not carrying a bunch of camping gear with you. Um, so maybe you just have your wallet or something that you need to put into a waterproof bag. So that's what uh, these are examples of here, is they're basically uh, waterproof bags uh, built for wallets. So like the others, they've got a flap and then this rolls down and then there's a triple zipper um, that opens up okay so three zippers and inside is my wallet okay so those are quite dry quite dry uh, quite reliable because they've got several means of securing they've got the zippers they've got the roll down and then they've got the velcro tab they come in different colors that one's black this one's clear Okay, this one contains a cell phone. All right, so that's your wall, wallet style, uh, wallet style of dry bag.
next item, these are uh, little tiny clear waterproof bags for electronics. Uh, these are really secure, really important. Uh, you can see in that last clip, you know, it's just a wet rainy day. So even, even inside the cabin of that boat, it's going to be wet. So these use kind of a, a lever style, cantilever style catch. One on each side, okay. And then this separates, okay. So there's, there's quite a good seal and uh, so that'll protect your electronics. And then just to close it like that and that. Okay, this one's got a Blackberry in it. Same thing, uh, claps on the back and then it opens up. Okay, well, thank you for watching the Travel by Water channel. That's uh, how to keep your stuff dry in a small boat. A quick look at dry bags. Thank you. Have a good day.